Hey, what's going on, Conquerors? Welcome to my Halloween special. Uh, basically, I tried to do something somewhat creative for Halloween. Um, basically, <laughs> when it comes to Let's Players and uh, video game type stuff, they always do like one thing for Halloween. They do a scary game with face cam. That's usually what the, what the, t uh, the go-to thing for uh, Let's Players is for Halloween. And I, I admit it, I did it last year too, I believe. I played... Slender, but I kind of made it original and creative by dressing up as Slender, and I think that was last year. I'm pretty sure it was, but yeah, I, uh, I I decided to try to do something somewhat creative and not just play video games. Um, it was supposed to be a lot more creative, and I will explain that right now. So here's the clip I'm gonna be playing. Uh, basically, as you can see, it's been raining. It's been raining all day where I live, and it's really, really. I don't know. It's kind of a bummer to, <laughs> to have this much rain on Halloween. It's the worst time for that. Uh, basically, what I was going to be doing is I was going to be going out into the forest. I have a, a forest behind my house. I was going to go out there, and I was going to read some scary stories. And I thought that was an awesome idea. It was going to be really spooky. And uh, I thought that would make for an awesome video. But I can't because everything is just wet. It's just constantly raining. I think it's still raining right now. But, um, yeah, I couldn't do that because I would ruin all my equipment, my camera, my mic, and all that stuff. So, I decided to just stay inside. Uh, I still wanted to, to read the scary stories, but instead of being outside, I have to have the green screen. Which kind of sucks. It really does. It disappoints me, but... Ah, I guess we gotta do it. And, um... Uh, for this, I guess we can just hang out, read some scary stories, and, uh, yeah. So make sure you, uh, turn off your lights, because it's gonna get spooky... Uh, put on your headphones, just kick back, relax, and uh, let's hear some pretty good stories. So I have four pulled up. Uh, I think two of them are pretty long, two of them are pretty short. And the first one is called The Roommate's Death. And it's an urban legend, I guess. So I guess we can begin reading this one right now. Okay, so it starts out, there was two roommates. Oh, uh, very original. <laughs> there were two roommates, Sarah and Megan. Sarah was the theatrical type and loved acting. She was in all the town's plays. Megan was more of a book person. She loved to read and study. Uh, studies were her main, her first priority. Uh, anyway, there was a huge play called Oh Susanna that Sarah was in, and it was coming. Uh, and it was coming up on Saturday. Yes. Uh, so I'm sorry. I can't. I'm not very good at reading. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, it was coming up on uh, Saturday. So every chance that Sarah got, she would practice in the park. That was her inspiration for hours. Uh, every time she would beg uh, Megan to go with her, but Megan would stay in her dorm and read. Well, on Saturday, Sarah was was a hit. Uh, being the star, she was detained after the play and got home really late. Uh, I, <laughs> I thought someone was walking in. Hopefully not. That would suck. But yeah, uh, where was I at? I got home really late. As she entered, she heard her roommate's rocking chair squeaking in the corner. Uh, but couldn't see it. Uh, not at all. Oh, wait, not all the lights were on. Must be waiting for me, Sarah thought, putting her stuff away. Uh, she went back into the main room. From the corner came a voice. It sounded rather husky, but that wasn't what agitated Sarah. Oh, Susanna, don't cry for me. It came from the voice. Stop it, Megan. Don't give me that crap, okay? Said Sarah. Oh, Susanna, don't cry for me. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Megan. I beg it. I mean, I mean it, Meg. <laughs> oh, Susanna, don't cry for me. Stop. That's it. Sarah screamed as she flickered on the room's light. Sarah gawked in the horror as the sight. Her roommate's body was in the rocking chair, but her head wasn't. Her head was on the wall, kept by a butcher's knife. From the behind the rocking chair, she could hear laughter. Uh, who's there? Who are you? From the behind the rocking chair jumped a man, later found out to be the butcher that escaped from the sanitarium in the next town. All the time he was uh, cutting Sarah, he was singing over and over, Oh, Susanna, don't cry for me. I come from Alabama with the banjo on my knee. Uh, pinning Sarah to the wall next to the roommate's head, he screamed, Now, Susanna, don't cry for me. Ah, well, that was a... Uh that was a very pleasant start. <laughs> we have a, uh, a murderer, crazy guy, killed a girl singing the play that she was in. I don't know, that was pretty creepy. I'm not gonna lie, the, the next two, the two short ones are really creepy, but the last one, it's really long, and it's it's pretty it's pretty spooky. So, I guess I can read the, the two short ones. Let's see if I can find them. They're on Reddit, actually. 
Um, okay, yeah, here they are right here. This one just kind of gave me the chills, so I just kind of want to read it. It's really short, though. Okay. A father is lying in bed after just waking up. He grabbed the baby monitor and walked to his desk on, at the office at home. Uh, he has a baby on the baby monitor and hears his wife singing to her. He cracks a smile as he hears his wife go to sleep, go to sleep. When suddenly, the front door opens up and his wife comes in with the groceries. <laughs> That's the story right there. That's creepy. I don't know. It's, yeah, I don't know. Just that. I don't know. Just That's weird to think someone's saying go to sleep with your baby. And you're thinking it's your wife, but it's not. I don't know. That's just kind of creepy. So I like that one. That one's uh, pretty good. This next one is a little longer, but this one, it's kind of cool too. So let me go find it. It's on Reddit somewhere. Apparently it's in like a big post that people just posted a bunch of scary stuff. So let me try to find this real quick. Okay, so here it is. A young boy is sitting in school, not really paying attention. Uh, he looks out the window and notices a pitcher laying on the ground outside the school. After school ends, he goes and picks up the pitcher and realizes it is a picture of a young girl holding up two fingers a peace sign. Like that, like probably with a duck face perhaps, I don't know. Uh, she's the most beautiful girl he's ever seen, and he spends the entire evening asking around town if anyone knows who or where he can find her. No one knows, and he uh, returns home disappointed. That night, he is suddenly awoken in bed and seeing the girl from the picture standing out on the other side of the street from the window. He quickly rushes to see the girl, but struck by a car while crossing the street and is killed. The police investigate it, find a picture lying next to his body of a young girl holding up three fingers. Ooh! <laughs> that one, I don't know, I like that one. That one's kind of creepy, like two fingers. I thought it was like a, a duck face when I first read it. Like a, just kind of a peace sign, but I guess that's how many victims she got. And now she has three because she killed the little boy by the getting hit by the car. So yeah, that was a pretty nice one. And uh, I don't know how long this is going to be. I, I, the last one is quite a bit longer it's a pretty long oh my god it is really long let me see this holy shit i don't know how i'm gonna read this all but yeah uh this is a pretty long uh story it's called the smiling man and i've i've read this before and i really like it it's very atmospheric so yeah you can just have to imagine the setting in your mind in this one okay about five years ago i lived downtown in a major city in the u.s i've always been a night person so i would often find myself bored after my roommates, uh, who was deset wait, decidedly not a night person, uh, went to sleep. To pass the time, I used to go for long walks and spend the time thinking. Huh. Uh, that's not the best way to spend your time. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I spent four, uh, four years like that walking alone at night. Wow, this is a... Who would do, <laughs> who would do that? Just walk around at night. Okay. I spent four years like that walking around at night and never once had a reason to feel afraid. I always used to joke with my roommates that even the drug dealers in the city were polite. <laughs> but all that changed in just a few minutes of one evening. Oh man, this is getting scary. It was a Wednesday, somewhere between 1 and 2 in the morning. And it was, I was walking near a police patrol park quite a ways away from my apartment. It was a quiet uh, night, even for a weeknight with a very little traffic and almost no one on foot. The park, as it all, as it was most nights, was completely empty. I turned down a short side street in order to loop back to my apartment uh, when I first noticed him. Uh-oh. We have a person. Him. Oh, okay. Uh, where was I at? Uh, at, the fir at the far end of the street on my side was a, a silhouette of a man dancing... It was a strange dance, similar to a waltz, but he finished each box uh, with an odd forward stride. Mm -hmm. So we have a man dancing in the road. You can just imagine that. Creepy, dark at night, a man dancing in the road. That's uh, pretty odd. Uh, I guess uh, you would say he was dance walking. Headed straight for me. Uh-oh. Decided he was probably drunk, I stepped as close as I could to the road to give him the majority of the sidewalk to pass by. Uh, the closer he got, the more I realized how graceful he moved. Uh, he was very tall and lanky and wearing an old suit. He danced closer still uh, until I could make out his face. Uh, his eyes were open wide and wild. Uh, head tilted back slightly looking off at the sky. The mouth was formed in a painfully wide cartoon of a smile. 
Between the eyes and the smile, I decided to cross the street before the danced uh, before he danced any closer. I took my eyes off of him to cross the empty street. As I reached the other side, I glanced back and then stopped dead in my tracks. Uh oh. Uh, he had stopped dancing and was standing uh, with one foot of the street uh, perfectly parallel to me. He was facing me. He was looking skyward. Smile still wide on his lips. Oh god. So he's just standing there right across from the person smiling. <laughs> okay, so let's keep reading this. I was completely and utterly unnerved by this. I started walking again but kept my eyes on the main on the man. Uh, he didn't move. Once I had a put about half a block between us, I turned away from him for a moment to watch the sidewalk in front of me. The street uh, the street and sidewalk ahead of me were uh, completely empty. Still unnerved, I looked back to where he had been standing to find him gone. So he's completely gone now. Um, from the briefest of the moment, I fell relieved until I noticed him. He had crossed the street and was now slightly crouched down. Uh, crouched down. I said crouched down. <laughs> Not a crouch. Crouched down. I couldn't tell for sure. Uh, due to the distance of the shadow, it was certain he was facing me. I had looked away for him for no more than 10 seconds. So I was clear that he had moved fast. Uh-oh. Okay, this person might be, uh, might be coming at the person. Oh, man, I just heard something. <laughs> I don't know. These all, all these little spooky uh, like stories. They just scare. Uh, they scare me pretty bad. So every like little noise kind of scares me in my room. Oh man. Okay, let's keep reading on. I was so shocked that I just stood there for some time, staring at him, and then he started moving toward me again. He took giant, exaggerated tiptoe steps as if he were a cartoon character sneaking up on someone. Except he was moving very, very quickly. I like to say at this point I ran away or pulled out my pepper spray or my cell phone or anything at all, but I didn't. I stood there completely frozen as the smiling man crept toward me. And then he stopped again about a car's length away from me, still smiling his smile, still looking at the sky. When I finally found my voice, I blurred out the first thing that came to my mind. What I meant to say was, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> in, an ang in an angry, commanding tone. But what came out was a whimper. What the fuck? <laughs> so just imagine that. Just a smiling man looking up at the sky. Like, I don't know, a few uh, feet away from you. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, I better scroll down. This is getting interesting. We're almost done with the story, though. How's it going to end? Ooh, we'll find out. <laughs> Regardless of whether or not humans can smell fear, they certainly can hear it. I made, I heard it in my own voice, and that only made me more afraid. But he didn't react to it all. Uh, he just stood there, smiling. And then after what I felt like forever, he turned around very slowly and started dancing, walking away. Just like that, nothing uh, wanted to turn my back to him again. I just watched him go until he was far enough away to almost be out of my sight. And then I realized something. He was he was moving away. Any he was he wasn't moving away anymore. Nor was he dancing. I watched him in horror as the distance sharp of him grew larger and larger. He was coming back my way. And this time he was running. So now he's sprinting at the person. Oh shit. I ran too. I ran until I was off the side road and back onto the better lit road with sparse traffic. Looking behind me then he was nowhere to be found. The rest of the way home I kept glancing over the shoulder, my shoulder. And always expected to see his stupid smile. Uh, but he was never there. I lived in the city for six months after that night, and I never went out for another walk. Uh, there was something about his face that always haunted me. He didn't look drunk. He didn't look high. He looked completely and utter utterly insane. And that's a very, very scary thing to see. And that is the end of the story. That's kind of... I can't even imagine that. Like, like me sitting here, like, reading it, it's spooky... But, like, you just gotta envision, like, all the stuff in your mind. Like, just imagine, like, a dark road and there's a guy smiling. Like, all all these stories, you just gotta envision it in your head. And that's, uh, that's pretty creepy. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my Halloween special. I would like to have read more stories, but I don't like reading. And 
I couldn't really find that many really good ones. I read like 10 stories just looking around trying to find some. There wasn't very many good ones, but I, I like these ones. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Halloween special. This is probably going to be uploaded pretty late, so uh, it should be even more scary for a lot of people. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hope everyone had a good uh, Halloween. Hopefully you went out and trick-or-treated or something. I don't know how old uh, all you people are. But, uh, yeah, if you did dress up and go uh, trick-or-treat, uh, trick-or-treating, uh, please tell me what you were for Halloween because I'm a little old for Halloween, so I can't go out and trick-or-treat, and it's been raining. So, uh, yeah, a lot of times I was, like, I went as an old person. I went as Scream a lot of the times so with, like, the Scream mask. I was a vampire a lot of the times. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really interested to see what uh, you guys were for Halloween, if anything. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you got a little spooked out uh, with me. And, uh, yeah, I guess next video should be back to normal because Halloween's over. So, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. woo <laughs>